For this video, I'll show you my technique on creating a folded corner. I'll show you this one, a 45 degree fold, and I will also show you how to make a non 45 degree fold like this one. Let's go. I have here three simple articles with a title and some text. I apply some class to differentiate each of them. I have also styled them pretty basically. Notice they already have cut out top right corner, which I explain how to do in a different video. Pretty much I use linear gradient background right here. Here will I put everything. So let's start with a 45 degree fold. I first add an after pseudo element to all the articles position top right corner. For the 45 degree, I'll set width and height and background so we can see it. If I zoom here, notice that the dimension did not match the cut. The goal is to match the cut. So I'll make some adjustments till I get there. Notice I'm using M unit here to make working with decimals easier. Then I'll copy the background and apply the same thing here and only change the color of the fold piece. I'll zoom to get a closer look and I think some shadow will make it much better. So I'll proceed to apply some nice shadow then I take a closer look. Notice also that the article container has a rounded corner. So I need to make this cutout piece match that. And I'll set border radius for bottom left to match and we got the folded effect. Very simple to do and in probably the most common fold you will find out there. But if I change the angle per se negative 150 degrees, everything breaks. So I'll have to adjust everything again. So I'll adjust my width and height and I'll make the background semi-transparent so it's easier. If I zoom closer, we see it's getting there. I'll keep changing till I nail it. You can do this using math to calculate this, but it requires dealing with some cosine and sine of angles, triangle theorems, etc. And it's too easy to complicate it with math. So I write a pixel pusher till I get it right, then make a class out of it and reuse it. But you can use math technique, especially if you want more control over the customization. I'll apply the linear gradient and adjust the angle and notice it came out broken. So in order to make it work, I need to change the angle to say left bottom and make the transparent part take 50%. That way, no matter the width and height, it will always split this top left to bottom right. Now look at this. It does not feel right. If I were to fold a paper, I would expect the top right edge to land about here. So to do that, I need to invert width and height first like this. Then translate it up and right to match the corner. Then rotate it, but by default, it will start rotating from the center. And I need it to rotate and keep the bottom right as the origin. So I'll adjust my transform origin to bottom right and continue rotating till I match the angle. And voila, now it looks proper. For my bonus technique, I'll duplicate this and I'll make it so the fold appear like it's rolling. You know, when, when, when you fold a paper corner and after a while it rolls on itself. So for that, I'll simply add two more color stops to my gradient, one closer to white and another same color, but darker. I should probably make the fold smaller since the fold, it will take less width, but you probably know how to adjust that on your own, right? So if I zoom, you can see it comes alive, but the shadows are kind of off. So I need to make the shadow appear inside a fold and to make the shadow spread inside, you need to match the blur and the spread values, you know, the two last values before the color and make the X offset zero. Now for the final zoom, you can see the shadows appear under the fold, giving the illusion is lifted. Please like, share and subscribe for more quick tips like this. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye bye.